uh, thank organizing committee for possibility to see you again. Especially, I'd like to thank uh, my uh, old friend, I hope, Vladimir Chizik, uh, because uh, namely uh, uh, for his uh, ideas, I have first time uh, been at the State Petersburg. And uh, uh, today I will speak a little bit about NMA relaxations. And uh, when I start to uh, NMA investigations of the systems, it was in 1980, uh, the first book was uh, Professor Chizik's uh, Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Relaxation Book. So, uh, today uh, I have not uh, easy task because uh, every man uh, understood me. After Oksana presentation, my presentation would be only badly. by the company Dupont, and uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, positions uh, how uh, the molecules of water and the counter iron and co-iron, uh, especially H plus iron, because it's the membrane number one and the only membrane which used to the a low temperature fuel cells, uh, how it's uh, working. And, uh, okay. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, kind of uh, different investigations, but I will talk only about enema. It's not my first uh, presentation, but uh, depending on other presentations, uh, I hope I know the uh, all pictures, how it's working. And um, uh, I have to say that uh, uh, NMA is very popular now. In 21st century, maybe it's the main physical techniques. Uh, you saw that uh, uh, compared to X-ray spectroscopy and uh, infrared spectroscopy. The publication in NMA uh, much more. Uh, it was uh, about uh, uh, eight years ago. Uh, information from Scopus now, I think, it's increased more and more. And uh, not only traditional uh, high-resolution NMA, but also uh, solid NMA and uh, NMR relaxation and PFG NMR. I will talk about this technique now. So, uh, the general problem, uh, in order to understand uh, how the uh, transfer of uh, water molecules and ions is uh, realized, uh, we have to see the uh, some interconnection about nanostructure of ionic membrane channels and about ionic interaction mechanism. It uh, means the same as the hydration of uh, ionic uh, groups and uh, uh, cations. And also it will control to the charge and uh, mass transfer. So we have to see this kind of interconnections. And uh, so, we, first of all, we see the uh, channel structure, charge group hydrations, and ionic and molecular transport by studying by NMR techniques. And I have to say that uh, uh, the first uh, uh, investigation was uh, uh, due to 
a hydration process because it's very easy uh, to fix in your exchange systems water signal. It's uh, rather big. And the chemical shifts of the signals gave a lot of information. So uh, when the first uh, manufactured uh, NMR spectrometer was on the market, uh, everybody started to investigate your exchange systems. Uh, so maybe it's about half century ago, people started to uh, apply NMR for this kind of investigations. And uh, a lot of system was investigated. First system was uh, DAUX ion uh, exchanger, which was uh, synthesized in the uh, end of 40s in America and uh, in Russia at uh, the same time. But um, anyway, the more interesting systems is perfluorinated sulfur cation exchange membrane. It's well famous nafion. In Russia also it was produced, and it was produced namely in St. Petersburg. But my, my very good friend and uh, very talented uh, synthetic uh, uh, Sergei Timofeev. And also I will touch a little bit about some novel membranes on the base of aromatic polyamide, which uh, synthesizes, uh, synthesizes in uh, Vladimir uh, membrane center. Uh, so called uh, uh, polymer synthesis. So let's start. And then from the point of view, experimentals, uh, we are rather rich. We have uh, uh, good high resolution NMR and also solid state NMR. And also, unfortunately, it's died now, but. Uh, uh, a spectrometer, not mine. <laughs> uh, home done in Kazan University, 100 megacycles. It was a very excellent uh, machine. So let's start. Uh, Nano channels. And uh, you, s I uh, gave some example, which is very easy to find from the internet, about uh, the uh, channels construction in. Uh, uh, polystyrene ion exchange in DAUBS, which was the first, uh, as I mentioned. And uh, uh, the situation like this, uh, there are some cluster which uh, was uh, absorbed by uh, paramagnetic probes, uh, like kappa, for instance, was the probe, which uh, connect some more narrow channels. So this uh, cluster channels model. But uh, let's speak about uh, only pure fluorinated uh, membrane because it's an excellent object for NMR. Uh, you saw that uh, fluorine uh, ch polymeric chain, and if you saw proton, it's uh, devoted to water proton, for instance, and H plus. And uh, uh, First question was the question, how the ionic channels are organized in this uh, nafion membrane. And uh, follow the uh, model uh, cluster channels. Also, the model was proposed uh, by Girke that uh, uh, the uh, charge sulfonated groups and ions and water organize some cluster which uh, connected very narrow channels. And uh, uh, when we start to investigate, uh, we saw that uh, the mobility uh, of uh, molecules and ions, it's our NMR relaxation data uh, on the seven lithium and uh, one H water protons, uh, that uh, the uh, calculations uh, according to uh, Einstein equations, cell diffusion coefficients, uh, and uh, uh, which uh, characterize the correlation time 
uh, the local uh, moving of iron and uh, uh, water. Uh, uh, very good agree with the uh, experimental measured by pulse field gradient technique uh, macroscopic cell diffusion coefficients. It means that there is no cluster and no channels. The some intermediate channels is organized. So this uh, model uh, uh, was proposed, so-called uh, nanostructure of transport channels in the nafion membrane. And uh, uh, the basic of this investigation was the small uh, X-ray scattering, because it's also a very good uh, system in order to uh, use a small angle scattering technique uh, to resolve some structure. And also uh, a lot of another data, uh, for instance, uh, mills bauer spectroscopy, relaxation, and all, and so on. So uh, we have seen that there are channels uh, in the amorphous phase of membrane, and uh, the uh, microscopic cell diffusion is controlled by the jumping between uh, sulfonated groups. And uh, so on. We have to investigate the hydration process. We have to investigate the local jumping uh, correlations uh, time. Uh, I have to say that uh, anyway, uh, the Girke model cluster channels was prevailed because uh, people are very conservative. And only uh, some years ago, uh, the Grenoble uh, scientist, uh, my colleague, uh, General Jebel, uh, was proposed uh, the channel structure. But if the first picture was made in the 88 uh, or 90, but uh, this picture was made after the quarter of century late. <laughs> but anyway, uh, channel uh, structure now is prevailed. And another question, uh, how the uh, counter ions are hydrated? And um, we saw uh, the spectrum of uh, one H NMA spectrum at different humidity and at different uh, temperature. And we saw that uh, uh, it's a rather narrow line. And uh, when uh, humidity uh, decreases, the mobility also decreased. And uh, the line uh, width uh, increasing. And uh, uh, if the temperature decreases, the same picture. Uh, why the hydration process uh, is very important? Uh, here are some uh, uh, attempts to correlate uh, chemical shift, which uh, characterize the hydration complex structure. And uh, cell diffusion coefficients, we saw that there are uh, correlations uh, for water diffusion in cesium form. And uh, in this form, you see there are about two order of magnitude uh, uh, difference. But we uh, saw at the same water content. Uh, the amount of water per sulfur group was the same. But uh, the hydration state of ions uh, very strongly control the diffusion. Therefore, we have to understood how the uh, hydration process is taking place. And uh, there are two ways to investigate the hydration process and uh, also to calculate the hydration number, which characterizes the uh, hydration, uh, hy hydration of iron. Uh, one way it's uh, investigate the temperature dependence of chemical shifts. Another investigate the uh, water content uh, or concentration dependence. Okay. And uh, the key question uh, for H plus is here. 
and uh, Jacques quite well remember his uh, pioneer paper about uh, it. Is this oxonium ion the elementary ion or hydroxonium ion? Let's try to understood it, okay, to understand. And uh, you see that um, um, if the elementary particle is uh, uh, axonium, axonium uh, organizes a contact ionic pair with sulfonate groups, and it means that uh, the mobility of proton is very low. But if it's uh, hydroxonium H5, Oh, uh, two plus, sorry, I forgot two, yeah. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, the water molecules between H plus and SO3 three minus, so it's separate pair. In this case, we uh, are ready uh, to observe some uh, high mobility at low water content. Because uh, the mobility at low water content is uh, uh, task number one uh, for uh, fuel cells, uh, electrochemicals uh, construction. And uh, 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 we uh, have observed the uh, next uh, uh, fact that if we dry our membrane at uh, 160 Celsius, uh, some water is left. For instance, is the mass spectrum, and we saw some uh, rather white uh, line which belonged uh, to the water. And also this uh, narrow line, <coughs> when we uh, move from the over, uh, where we dry our membrane till constant weight, uh, to the sample, uh, it's catch some water. And uh, if we estimate uh, this amount of water, it will be about two molecules per ion. And this is uh, so-called uh, remaining water, uh, which uh, uh, remain uh, during the drying at 150 deg uh, degrees till the constant weight. But anyway, some water, two molecules of water are here, and we have to propose that namely H plus organized or hydroxonium ion with these two water molecules, this uh, ions uh, hydrated ions is rather stable, and uh, we uh, have uh, as an elementary uh, particle, namely hydroxonium ion. And another way we have to investigate the temperature dependence, and we see that it's for water, and it's for uh, water hydrated uh, H plus in nafion. Uh, here is a very good linear dependence according to these simple equations. And uh, uh, the idea like this, if water uh, are in the ion uh, hydration shells, uh, the hydrogen bond is broken, and uh, therefore the uh, dependence not so uh, uh, large. And for instance, for two water molecules, which we keep in, in mind, from our NMR crowd estimations, uh, it's uh, very, very, uh, uh, practically there is no temp temperature dependence because these two water molecules uh, uh, not organize the additional hydrogen bond uh, like in water. So we see the hydration number, and here the so-called gravimetrical uh, estimations by the weight. Weight is a very good way to measure <laughs> the water content. And here we added these two uh, water molecules which we observed in NMR. And we see that with uh, uh, the increase in humidity, the hydration number also increased, starting from about two and uh, 
uh, to uh, six or five. And uh, I suppose in this case, uh, H nine O four plus uh, very uh, symmetric uh, uh, tetra uh, uh, surrounding uh, complex is organized. If we have enough water, why not? Because it's also rather stable, H plus complexes. Okay. Uh, but uh, also the next uh, stage is to uh, uh, calculate uh, the uh, chemical shifts uh, from the uh, water content dependence. And if we uh, add it to water molecules compared to the only H plus, uh, here we propose that all water we measure uh, correctly by the uh, drying uh, and waiting, but here we added some two uh, molecules, and uh, we saw that uh, it's a rather straight line. So uh, we uh, have all uh, uh, facts to propose that the elementary uh, particles is uh, symmetric hydroxonium ion. And uh, our estimation of the average chemical shifts is about uh, 12 or 13 ppm related to tetramethylcelan. And uh, I have to say that uh, it was very important to compare this uh, calculated uh, average chemical shifts with the experimentally measured uh, chemical sheets for this particle. It was done many years ago, and uh, the uh, professor of uh, State Petersburg University, uh, his name Golubev, uh, using some very original techniques uh, in Freon at low temperature investigation when he uh, made uh, the proton exchange very slowly, and he resolved this uh, average line on the component, and he calculated the H plus chemical shifts, and also water in this particle. But uh, unfortunately, it was published maybe in some local uh, journal, maybe, I don't know. And uh, I uh, asked Steve Petersburg people help me to find this paper, because this paper should be some very, 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 very uh, popular paper, and every uh, book started uh, devoted to the hydration process in uh, acid or in some polymeric acid, should start from this <laughs> uh, figure, where uh, the only uh, uh, one H uh, uh, NMR spectrum was uh, observed. And uh, we have uh, also uh, uh, the same uh, picture, not only in Nafion, but it's in the Russia analogies of uh, uh, Nafion. And uh, in other systems, like Dauk system, and uh, also membrane of the Dauk systems. So in this uh, coordinate, when we propose uh, each uh, five or two plus uh, particles, uh, we have the straight line, and uh, which, uh, if from the point of view, the average chemical shifts, it's explained quite well. Okay, and um, uh, so we have measured the hydration number for uh, different ions, two for H plus, for lithium and uh, for sodium is the uh, Biggest and facetium also uh, small. And uh, here the uh, amount of broken hydrogen bond, which the iron is uh, broke, and uh, cesium don't <laughs> interact with water, he separate. He has uh, broken uh, abilities uh, very low, but listen the maximum. And um, if we saw not only sulfonate systems, uh, but also uh, carbon uh, 
systems uh, uh, we saw that uh, from the point of view ionic uh, the picture is the same but uh, the uh, H plus uh, systems uh, are absolutely differ uh, and uh, because uh, uh, the sulfonic acid is strong acid but uh, uh, carbon acid is uh, weak acid and uh, the contact ionic pair is very strong there. And uh, uh, some lessons. And uh, uh, the hydration number in carboxyl uh, membrane is uh, one molecule slow compared to sulfonate. And also it's correlated with the hydrogen heat, heat of hydration. So it's uh, uh, similar like in the aqua solutions, but uh, the structure of channels, uh, some r uh, restrictions uh, uh, points uh, uh, have. And uh, uh, if you uh, uh, saw the, analyze the chemical change dependence for uh, different uh, ions, we can calculate the amount of contact ionic pairs and their dependence on humidity. But um, now it's a rather fresh results. I'd like to discuss a little bit about um, uh, the behavior of uh, uh, ionic and water below zero centigrade. And, um, uh, usually, uh, uh, people uh, have observed some uh, peak uh, in freezing or melting uh, curves of uh, differential scanning calorimetry. And uh, the explanation is very simple. Uh, some water is frozen, there is a uh, peak, and we can even calculate the amount of water which is frozen. And another water is not frozen. Uh, and uh, it's uh, reasonable, why not? And uh, also some classical theory was constructed. And uh, for instance, here the channel. And uh, on the uh, channel uh, walls, water uh, immobilized and it's not frozen, but in the uh, far from channel, you see this is uh, white uh, water is organized as ice. But, and also uh, some uh, uh, aftetic diagram was constructed. Uh, from the classical point of view, it's okay, but uh, I have the questions. Because it's uh, also, we saw some uh, change of temperature dependence for conductivity. And also very easy to explain. Uh, here, water is not frost, here it's not frost. And uh, because of ice of phase, uh, the residual water molecules are moving more hardly. And uh, uh, the conductivity and cell diffusion is broken. But it's okay for uh, the poor systems. It uh, all my uh, rather, maybe it was published in the end of the last century in journal membrane science. Uh, here the uh, only poor acetate cellulose films. And we saw that water is frozen really because the amount of mobile water is rapidly decrease. It depends on the uh, pore uh, size. For instance, if for pore size about uh, four or uh, three nanometers, uh, like here, there is uh, no frozen water. But if uh, it's some intermediate, some iceberg organized, and if it's very wide pore, uh, the ice wise is organized. From this point of view, the Boltzmann uh, Poisson uh, classical description is okay. And also we saw 
the water content. Uh, for instance, in Nafion, it uh, don't change with temperature. When low water content also doesn't change, but uh, is some intermediate, the amount of mobile water uh, decrease uh, below centigrade, zero centigrade. And also we see the cell diffusion coefficients change the slope. And uh, let's uh, see more properly on the behavior of uh, water content at diff different temperatures. Uh, here, uh, maybe yesterday, our results, uh, we saw that uh, if uh, water amount about nine molecules per uh, sulfonate groups, uh, no freezing of water. All water are mobile below the uh, uh, zero centigrade. And you say also the, uh, there is no dramatic change in the line behavior below centigrade. Only a little uh, increase in all white because uh, T2, uh, because of the decrease in mobility, uh, uh, decrease, and uh, it's uh, absolutely clear. But uh, if we have uh, some uh, more water content, uh, there are some uh, decreasing. Uh, uh, now it's um, a discussion question, why it's so? I have some uh, conversations with uh, synthetic people. Maybe uh, this additional water, after nine water molecules, occupy some uh, big pore. Well, it's uh, easy to <laughs> uh, uh, freeze and organize the ice phase. And uh, the same data was made in Grenoble. It's uh, our colleague. Uh, uh, in Nafion, and also uh, let's speak uh, how the transport mechanism change if we know that water is not freeze. But uh, let's see more detail the transport mechanism. And um, we uh, applied uh, the excellent, from my point of view, technique, pulse field gradient, which uh, gave opportunity to measure the cell diffusion coefficients directly, especially in uh, heterogenic systems. Uh, it's uh, very good uh, uh, techniques. And uh, if we have some diffusion in poor systems, the apparent cell diffusion coefficients dependence on the diffusion time. But diffusion time means uh, in order to measure cell diffusion coefficients, we applied some uh, uh, constant field gradient. Usually it's linear dependence. Let's uh, see, for instance, this pulse sequences. And uh, uh, we marked the position of nuclear and uh, in uh, some time, which uh, called uh, diffusion time, we check the position of molecules. If molecules is moved, the spinnaker attenuation will exist. Spinnaker drops, signal drops. If uh, there is no translation moving, we saw the same signal. And uh, analyze the dependence of echo signal on, uh, for instance, uh, amplitude of gradient pulse, we can uh, calculate the cell diffusion coefficients. Uh, this technique was proposed, uh, as I remember, the first big paper in uh, chemical physics, Stasdall uh, uh, and Tanner in 1968. So about five years uh, past. But only now the Brucker company uh, made uh, a good uh, gradient unit which is possible to measure. Uh, okay. No, so you see the Fourier transform signals for uh, protons, and uh, we can measure not only. Uh, average cell diffusion coefficients, you can measure every molecule cell diffusion coefficients. 
to use this uh, spinner alternation or diffusion of decay. And also we can measure different kind of nuclear. For instance, here, uh, cesium, lithium, and sodium cell diffusion coefficients. It's a miracle technique. I like it very much. Uh, and uh, why we have measures uh, and we are discussing uh, water molecule cell diffusion? Because uh, you saw that uh, the uh, conductivity uh, red line uh, follow the uh, cell diffusion coefficients uh, blue line. So if you know cell diffusion coefficients, we could explain the conductivity behavior, yes? And uh, uh, here the water cell diffusion coefficients for uh, carboxyl and uh, sulfonic groups containing perfluorinate membranes, which was synthesized in state Peterburg uh, plus polymer uh, organizations. And we saw that uh, the uh, uh, cell diffusion at low water content in carboxyl two order of magnitude less compared to the sulfur. And the same is the conductivity. So, uh, and also the hydration behavior uh, uh, made uh, even some structure uh, differences. You see that uh, we saw some restriction diffusion and uh, uh, in carboxyl membrane in uh, acid form. Uh, in iron form, it's the same because uh, it does not matter what kind of groups are there. It dissociated. Uh, some uh, restriction uh, about two micrometers uh, uh, exist. And so when we calculate the uh, uh, cell diffusion uh, from nurse and stain equations conductivities, it's agreed quite well. Especially it's absolutely agreed, here, please see here, for lithium uh, cell diffusion coefficients, uh, absolutely the same. And uh, uh, so we uh, observe the whole picture, the Nanochallenge challenge structure uh, we have investigated, uh, the hydration process we have investigated, and uh, the uh, uh, molecular and ionic motion in different special, special scales we investigated, and we can uh, 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 paint <laughs> some uh, imagination picture how the diffusion may be. For instance, uh, we have a lot of experience with lithium because lithium is an excellent uh, nuclear for investigation, long G2, because in order to organize PFG and uh, measurement, we have some time <laughs> to organize this pulse sequences, yes? And uh, 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 so some uh, tumbling of uh, water uh, molecules and uh, some jumping, and then uh, together with water molecules, the lithium ion is moving. And uh, suddenly it was uh, observed that the same uh, picture as in uh, ionic change systems are in uh, protein ionic channels, in biological protein ionic channels. You see this uh, very uh, similar. Uh, a picture. So, let's discuss about this uh, change of slope, uh, uh, about zero centigrade for uh, water and uh, not only water, uh, uh, cell diffusion. You see that there is a change of slope depending of ionic form and uh, uh, for H plus it's not so big, but for cesium is the maximum. And uh, here our data, the depending on the uh, humidity, you saw that uh, if we have low humidity, this slope is uh, not so uh, strong. And uh, I uh, suppose 
that if we uh, have measured uh, the uh, cell diffusion only hydrated water molecules, the slope will be absent. But unfortunately, T2 is very short and we uh, can't measure the cell diffusion coefficients only at four. And the same is in protein. Uh, but uh, you see that uh, here, uh, I, uh, this result about 15 years ago, I was in Korea then in uh, uh, Korea Basic Science Institute, and uh, I have uh, ability to measure the uh, diffraction. Uh, so, uh, 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 the colorimetry measurements, and you see, even in dry membrane, where all water are uh, hydrated. Uh, the uh, some uh, peak on the SK is exist, and what is it? It's clear that water is not frozen. We saw that the amount of frozen of uh, mobile water doesn't change, but uh, the uh, calorimetry shows some uh, the loss or. Uh, some uh, uh, heat uh, peak, okay. And uh, you see that there is no uh, change uh, the uh, amount of mobile water. And um, here, uh, the NMR relaxations help us to understand it. And uh, you uh, sure that um, the relaxation rate is for uh, proton water molecules. Uh, it's not uh, usual behavior dependent on temperature. What is unusual? What do you think? Because T2 have a maximum. It shouldn't be. How to explain the maximum T2? And uh, from the point of view of BPP mechanism, which is the main mechanism in uh, relaxation explanation, uh, there is no uh, maximum. Uh, dipole, dipole interaction, and uh, uh, if we analyze these equations, uh, there is no maximum of T2. But we have it, especially in this. You see, T2, very, very good maximum. Uh, T1 is uh, two uh, uh, maximum, uh, some heterogeneous uh, systems, why not? And uh, we are thinking a lot about it. Uh, we have uh, calculated uh, with uh, our theoretician people, and we have only one we, how to explain this maximum? The population temperature dependence. Two phase relaxation and the population is temperature dependence. In this case, we see that uh, uh, from the uh, high temperature, uh, the population change from zero, for, for instance, PA, to one. Uh, to one. And uh, if we compare the correlation time behavior and uh, cell diffusions, uh, you see that it uh, uh, in some uh, temperature region is similar. But uh, here I uh, don't uh, uh, put some experimental points on the dashed line, because here the population changes. And uh, you saw that uh, the behavior of one phase and another phase is changing. So, uh, from my opinion, it's only my opinion, you may criticize me, uh, 
when we decrease the temperature, water molecules would like to organize some ice phase. But because of broken hydrogen bond, and uh, water molecule couldn't organize far distance ice-like phase. But anyway, they made some associations, maybe two molecules, three molecules, four molecules. And because of it, the hydrogen bond organized, and we see the heat phenomena. We see the peak in this car. But because uh, below uh, uh, zero centigrade, uh, the molecules are associations, and therefore the activation energy is more higher. And um, very interesting, if we uh, have about 30% of associated molecules, the slope of uh, uh, diffusion coefficients temperature dependence change is some the uh, percolation their fault. If you have 30 persons, the percolation start uh, using these associations. So the 30 persons is some percolation their fault. And we have uh, explained our uh, data from the point of percolation theory. Uh, Professor Timashov have constructed the theory, and at low water content, the percolation theory is working. And uh, now I think uh, I will finish because I told a lot. <laughs> and uh, some ideas how to increase uh, the mobility of uh, water molecules because water molecules is control uh, the conductivity process. Uh, using some uh, bridge in order to organize the uh, permanent network of hydrogen bonding. And uh, it's better to include some hydrogen bridge groups in order to organize the uh, more rich hydrogen bonding network in order to uh, water help to move. Uh, at low water content. Uh, now this uh, direction is very popular and uh, a lot of uh, way of Nafion modifications. But really, all modifications don't increase the Nafion quality. Nafion is uh, uh, self-burning, uh, excellent polymer and not necessary to add <laughs> something to, to it. But anyway, there is a lot of. Uh, but we uh, use uh, some polyamide membranes, and we saw that uh, polyamide membranes uh, cell diffusion coefficients for lithium uh, one of the magnitude more compared to nafion. Here it's our references. Here are some selected references uh, in literature and you know, and uh, here are the Chernigalovka where I have invited everybody to see my lab in Chernigalovka. In the forest, there is this beautiful building. And uh, there, on the second floor here, our lab. And here, my young colleague, uh, PhD, PhD. Here, the PhD student, Nikita, he will follow the lecture, and here is a very prospective uh, student from uh, Moscow University. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I'd like to invite you to collaboration, because from my point of view, uh, the subject is, is very interesting. And uh, I have to say that Jack, for instance, uh, made some, uh, uh, pay some debts uh, for this membrane. And with your relaxation technique, we can develop a lot. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for very nice, uh, very interesting lecture. Please, colleagues, uh, ask some questions and say some comments. Nafion is terrible. Sorry? Nafion is terrible. 
it's really a poison for researchers because uh, it's just something to know that it has been very much used trying to use in uh, catalysis. It is a super acidic. Yes, a lot of applications. It is a super acidic. Lot of and you my so. problem with your uh, study is that you don't take uh, enough um, the fact, you, you treat the sample as if you had a liquid, a super acidic liquid, in a container. And, but in fact, you forget too much, in my opinion, the fact that you have a strong interaction between the very strong negative surface and the molecule. Yes, uh, if you, you will speak uh, a very <laughs> uh, uh, sick uh, uh, monograph devoted to the uh, Nafion and, and different uh, techniques in investigation. And uh, I don't think that there is a formation of a proton in sandwich between two molecules. Because if we freeze the sample, we see very well the triangle, and we are able to determine the triangle and the water molecule and to know exactly what is the concentration of both. And they are more or less at a long, di not distance, but uh, it, is a, a proto it is a proton conductor. That means, in fact, you have a proton passing from one molecule to the other molecule with a flip-flop <coughs> and so on, but not far from the surface. It's, it's not totally a li a liquid. Uh, but uh, uh, this idea uh, was uh, born uh, maybe about 35 years ago, when we studied dogs, it's the same, uh, sulfonate yeah. groups. And um, uh, from my opinion, we have measured the residual uh, amount of water, two yeah. water molecules. Yeah. And also from the, this uh, hydroxonium ion, uh, let's to explain high mobility. At low water but this is the high mobility of the hydroxonium, or it is the mobility of the proton from one molecule to the other? Because uh, the proton, uh, between proton and uh, plus and minus uh, oxygen on sulfonate groups, there are water molecules. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you have water molecules and you have hydroxonium. Uh, so this but question, we... uh, from my point of view, this question is uh, discussable. But uh, it's the same in acid and uh, in uh, uh, sulfur cation exchange systems. Uh, people, uh, by the will, said H axonium ion. Axonium ion. <laughs> but uh, why not hydroxonium? It's also the stable. Because if you, if you look at that low temperature, you don't see. You see only the triangle and water molecule. Uh, you don't see the complex two molecule with proton. But uh, Golubev have observed uh, the hydroxonium ion directly when he uh, uh, made uh, the proton exchange slow. But how will you do? Uh, it's uh, some kind of uh, very original techniques. Uh, in, in, in freon. In, in freon. But anyway, he uh, have observed the particle hydroxonium ion. In, in special system, uh, water uh, low temperature solvents. Like freon. Like freon. Because freon uh, is mobile at lower temperature. And from the point of view, mobility is high. Yes, but you assume you have all the proton on water. It's not true. You have an equilibrium of hydroxonium ion, and you have some, some other OH group staying on the surface. Surely. You don't have a coefficient of dissociation 100%. It's not true. It's the discussion. <laughs> okay. But, uh, thank you for this interesting uh, contribution and you very uh, variety of different results, very impressive uh, research. I have a, a suggestion with respect to the T2 maximum. Uh, according to our experience, it's related with the fact that you have 
not only reorientation of the water molecules, you have different types of water molecules. Uh, the living time. Yes, you have different uh, types the of water The lower living time. Yes, you have. We have checked it. Yes, no, no. It's, uh, you have, it's it, it cannot be by theory and also by all practical experience that you have a maximum in D2 which is only related to, to relaxation. I believe, and we have shown very clearly, that the superposition between different types of water molecules on surface in the volume and the exchange uh, in terms of proton exchange, not water reorientation, but proton exchange, and this interference of these two interesting processes gives a maximum TFT. I suggest you should uh, continue with this discussion, and then you have a clear form. You have shown a formula, but in your two component formula, you have one missing term. This is the lifetime of the protons with yes, respect sure. to the, And if you at this term, then you can simply explain the maximum of T2, and this would be uh, would be a completion of this very nice picture. We have shown also stable uh, states, yes, hydroxonium. Sir. This, of course, depends on the structure because I I not completely agree with your idea that you have a, a stable hydrogen union. My question is, what does it mean stable? It's 10 microseconds, it's 100 microseconds, it's 10 to minus 9 seconds. It should be once more elucidated what is the real time here, but I think uh, it's a simple, uh, relatively simple explanation of this maximum, and it would complete your picture. And this is a long yes, discussion. Sure. It would uh, give nice results. It's uh, only a recommendation. Yes, sure. Uh, it was uh, the first proposal to explain the maximum, yes. namely the living time. You remember this Pfeiffer formula, not only in Pfeiffer. Yes, yes. Where the uh, living time uh, are in the this uh, relations? Did you suggest to renew your interpretation? Yes, sure. Please. But uh, I think this is, let's uh, make some. Uh, yes, uh, let's make some. Uh, how to say? Remain, maybe. Yes. Uh, because uh, from my point of view, uh, this uh, relaxation data are very valuable. And um, uh, I have to say that uh, there are a lot of uh, sub-artifacts in relaxation data. For instance, in Nafion, uh, like impurity, there is, uh, is uh, ion, ions. In this case, the relaxation time decreased one order of magnitude. Yes. We have properly uh, removed this. Uh, and, uh, I, I'm sorry, we have the limit and last questions from Professor Kaber. No, no, no. no, yeah. uh, uh, I am agree. Uh, if you accept that you have at least two uh, state or two uh, uh, mechanisms of exchange, then you are mentioned not a uh, pure T2. Yes. Uh, you have a contribution of yes. the, laf, uh, the lifetime yes. and the chemical is, uh, 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 chemical uh, uh, shift. The chemical shift is a very very old uh, work in the 50s that uh, have uh, described that uh, situation and then the dependence of T2, of the chemical uh, shift and, and the lifetime, uh, uh, express a maximum in different uh, kind uh, of s systems. Yes. Yes. I don't remember, uh, Mabon, I, I think so, uh, the after. Yes, sure. Uh, the is a proton exchange. Ah, yes, wait, that, that, wait. that's right. The final investigation in uh, solutions. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, we have to finish the uh, intensive discussions. Uh, uh, now we. Uh, now, uh, Once more. Once more.